Okay, hey, welcome back to the channel. Jim here. I have a special guest. This is my son, Yuma. How's it going? Also a diver, I believe advanced level diver. Am I right on that? I'm trying to step up my game, but yeah. Just trying to step up that game. Alrighty, so I'm pretty excited. And uh, first I have to offer an apology. These are the results of the contest for who was going to make this float best. The holidays, I got all messed up and, you know, I had a lot of great results, but let's get to it. So if you remember, it was who can make this float and the contest rules were whoever had the best suggestion, I'm going to send you one of these as long as you're convenient uh, to Amazon. I'm going to send you one of these. Color of your choice. Color choices are red, blue, and green. I think this one is green. Yeah, but this is funny. They can't see it because when it goes off, it's with the green screen. Right, right. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. So the criteria are easiest, cheapest, easiest for me to find in Japan. That was a hard one for, for some of you. I mean, I'm going to tell you why. And let's see. So we had suggestions from YouTube, Scuba Board, and on Facebook. I had a lot of different suggestions. So let's get to it. Uh, let me see. First, uh, Brian. Brian C. YouTube. Brian C. had a nice suggestion. It was pipe insulation. Like the time, the type used on refrigerant lines. Big brain, Brian. Big, big brain, Brian. You are way more DIY than me. Check out the big brain on bread. Uh, I was looking around. I didn't see stuff exactly like that. I did like up at my cabin, up at our cabin. We, yeah. we have uh, the underground yeah, pipes. Freeze, yeah. yeah, but I gave all that away actually, and uh, I, I didn't find it easily. But that might have been a good solution. But it's probably not too different from the pool noodle. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Alrighty, so uh, Brian, nice job. Thanks for the contribution. Uh, didn't didn't make the cut. Next to what, John, weather strip. Weather stripping, you know the weather stripping? I do not know. So it goes on the side of like doors or something. Oh, yeah. And like one side has an adhesive and right. maybe sometimes it shapes, like it could be like a round shape or a yeah. square shape or a triangle. I really like that idea, uh, John John D from, from YouTube. And I, I went to the home center and I looked, Japanese home center, and I was finding all these Funky, uh, funky weather stripping. Not so weather strippy. Not even, not so good. And like I couldn't find the size I wanted, or like the the squishiness wasn't wasn't happy. I love the idea, John D. But it, it, here in Japan, it didn't work out. Didn't make the cut, buddy. Did not make the cut. <laughs> didn't make the cut. Uh, let me see, John M. John M. YouTube, you get an honorable mention. That close, man. You were that close to greatness. Almost there. It's on the Just board. Almost there. On the board. On the board, man. So John, old piece of wetsuit. Simple but effective. I have tons of old wetsuits. I mean, just from my wetsuits, I have three old wetsuits laying in a locker somewhere. And what was good about it? It was free. Yeah. I got a lot of it. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Uh, but on the downside, what, what was the downside? Flotation. Flotation question and longevity. Cool, coolness factor. <laughs> it's kind of low on the coolness factor. But yeah, it, it was, it was, you know, it was an honorable mention. Thanks, John. Sir. John, well done. Good stuff. Uh, now, Adam. Adam, hot glue, the pool noodle. We had lots and lots of pool noodle suggestions. Yes. Uh, pool noodle, I have it. Accessible. Uh, accessible. But you, Yuma has a lot of pool noodle experience, actually. <laughs> Back in Florida, I guess. Back in Florida. You know, what's the downside of well, pool noodle? I guess when you get exposed by heat, this stuff deteriorates really easily, so it just turns into, like, particles and stuff like that, so... Sorry, Adam. Yeah. And, and make the cut again. Yeah. Not only <laughs> heat, though. Not only heat, but... Probably the UV, I guess, right? Probably. The That's UV. what it is, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there was a UV issue. Also, there was, so oh, it needs to be hot glued. And I've got to tell you, I've got lots of negative experience with hot glue. Yeah. And like I said, when it was deteriorates, like let's say you got a stuff on there just coming right off. Which it was glued to. Yeah. Which means it's going to release. Yeah. So so great idea. All all the, the pool noodle people, I appreciate it, but uh, didn't make the cut. Didn't make the cut. So who's next? Uh, Leo. Leo from YouTube. Leo, not following your suggestion, <laughs> but it was cut a little PVC. Is PVC pipe float? Because it looks like not. It just looks like a piece of plastic. It's plastic, but but you well, know. Well, I guess you seal the both ends and make it into like a piece of balloon. I guess I'm not sure. If you're right. Wrap it with under carpet foam. Another good idea, but the under carpet foam I thought was a little light. Um, anyway, I, I appreciate the suggestion. That didn't didn't make it. You know, didn't make it. Now talk about big brain. <laughs> is that Joel? Would you pronounce that J O L E? Joel? I think so. Jolie. Joel. Jolie. Joel. All right. From YouTube. Joel was a, a scientist. So I'm going to have to put a picture of this because I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah. But he this has guy, a bigger brain. He's a bigger brain. brain. Joel is like a bomb builder, I think. <laughs> John makes ex, ex, expedient 
explosive devices. <laughs> so his idea was to take this and put it inside another container, a, a petling, a petling bottle, and then the petling bottle would have some water in it. And so when the petling bottle floated up, it would put this in the water and make this light. And then when it was out of the water, I guess it would fall down and not be in the water. It, it sounds, it sounds like a detonation device to it me. Sounds like it, yeah. You know. Joel, man, she's up to something. Joel, I don't want to say anything, man. And I, and I don't have any friends in the FBI. I'm not going to call anybody, but me. Sounds suspicious, honestly. I don't know. That sounds really suspicious. All right, all right. I'm going to skip the winner. I got a winner here. I'm going to skip that one. But uh, Carl also was a uh, pool foam float or water pipe insulation, yep. I passed over those. I guess this is this will be the winner. These guys would be the winner if they were in the States, because that's like the most accessible thing. Man, in the States you'd be in. So, so Carl, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, Ron, Ron gets an honorable mention. Uh, Ron had the most interesting, the most interesting and the most eco-friendly entry, eco-friendly. So he said the, to somehow attach some food for puffer fish on here, some floaty, so there'll be the floating device. Some fluffy puffer fish food, and but I'm not sure what would what would be uh, what would be floating. Would it be the food or the puffer fish or the puffer fish? <laughs> I'm not sure. It'll drag along all floaty style, I guess. Yeah, picking it up. Yeah, yeah. So 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 Ron and Ron Ron's a nice friend of the channel. Ron, thank you for all your your views and your your uh, comments. But that that was an honorable mention, Ron. And, but also, Ron lives somewhere different. I think Ron lives in the Netherlands, I think. Okay. And I don't even know if there's Amazon Netherlands. I guess there must be. <laughs> I guess. I guess, so, right? So I guess. Right. All right, so Ron, honorable mention. All right, now we're down to scuba board. I got a lot of... Uh, so Manatee Diver, a, a big fan of the channel. Thank you, Manatee Diver. Closed cell phone also. Yuma? Cell phone. That's so, basically that. No cell phone. Okay. Yeah. But then, uh, wait, close of cheap available tackle shops. Closed cell phone. What is closed? <laughs> what is closed cell phone? Oh, oh, are those float for the baits and stuff like that? Actually, that's pretty smart. That is really smart. Yeah, manatee diver. Are you reconsidering the winner? No, I'm gonna have to give you an honorable mention. You know, I might also award you a second place. I might send you. I might send manatee diver one of these things. That's a big win. That's a big win. Yeah, yeah, manatee diver. Let me let me change the color of your outline here because that that there I'm gonna go. put you put you in a, in a in a win. Manatee diver, you might have yourself a win. I, I you know to be honest with you, so I looked I looked a bit at the floats here and I, I couldn't find a float that I really like. They their floats in this country can be a lot different from mm. from back in the States. Oh, yeah. So I was a little I was a little confused and I gotta be I'm not easily confused in a in a in a fishing situation. <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna say that this would be doable here. However ooh to be fair, there is a cost factor involved. Okay, let's see this cost right here. Eleven ninety nine. That's for 10 pieces. Bucks. So it's a, do a dollar. I don't know. You have to have 10 friends. Or, yeah. or 11 friends. 10 divers, or divers yeah. and stuff 10 like divers. That. All right. But I'm, I'm still going to give you a second place on that. All right. And then there was uh, TNA 9001. Tina? I don't know. It sounds like a cyborg name. Yeah. Neoprene nice. tape. Good idea. Really good idea. I looked. I didn't find the neoprene uh, durometer that I liked at the home center here. So, yeah, it didn't make the cut. And then UKMC, another fishing bobber idea. You know, nice, nice idea. Mm. Um, I think those were all of our. Uh, those were all the suggestions that I had. It's a lot of suggestions. A lot of suggestions, sure. man. Yeah. yeah, a lot of pool noodles. Nice. A lot of pool noodles. A lot of noodle salad. <laughs> a lot of noodle salad. But the winner, Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve from YouTube. A big you fan. Go. Big fan of the channel. Big active fan of the channel. And this was. This was scuba, that was out of my pocket. Don't get any ideas there, Scuba Steve. From the rear. Yeah, that was my pocket, mate. Uh, cork. And then I maybe modified it into uh, wine cork because those are always on hand and they're always free. There you go. And uh, very fun. Ooh, actually, that does smell nice. So fresh out of the bottle. Yeah. Um, and so what, what it is, so on, on this unit, so it has a couple spots for attachment. Right, so it has a uh, it has a hole there, as you can see. It also has a couple holes here. And what this is for? There is another unit, another brand, Siak, where there is a metal clip there that you can clip it to your BC or different places. Mm -hmm. But this one comes without the clip, and I think it might be a little bit cheaper. But this one has a hole there, and what you can do 
is you can push a hole through your free quark, take a, uh, a small zip tie, pop that through. Let me put this on camera, actually. What am I doing here? These people can't see. <laughs> off camera. Yeah, off camera. Off camera. Bring in the stunt cork. Stunt cork. Stunt cork. Cork, stunt cork. cork. Stunt cork. <laughs> That's close. Yeah. That's close. Stunt cork. Bring in the stunt cork. Cork soakers are born, not made. All right. Uh, I'm going to pull that through. Pop it on here. You know, I've got... Easy as it is. Yeah, got the cork. So I always trim my cork with a uh, trim my cork. I never trim my cork. I can't afford to trim my cork. I need all the cork I need yeah. that I've got. Right, trim the your zip tie with, all right? And then boom, 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 boom. Flotation free. I tested it, it's working. It's low cost. Now on, on the durability, so I, I was not able to buy uh, UV resistant zip ties this time. Right because I've never found those in Japan. So that will be, have to be... I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, yeah. In the States, you can get everything, right? Not, nice. not here. So that that is one issue, the durability issue. But what'll happen, your, your cork will go away, and you'll drink another bottle of wine. <laughs> not a big problem. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. <sighs> Scuba Steve. All right, so Scuba Steve. Where's, could, could you give me Scuba Steve? Scuba Steve. So we have, uh, so that Scuba Steve wins. Scuba, we're going to make this up to look like Scuba Steve. I don't know how, but Scuba Steve, I need some suggestions how we can make this look like Scuba Steve from, from YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, how, how we can do it. So Scuba Steve, you are the winner. So what has to happen is if you could send me uh, your, I'm going to need your address, man, because uh, you live, I think you live in, you're in the States. So I'm going to need an address to send to you from Amazon your choice of the red the blue, blue green or the green rpg rpg man right to your right to your house or your address of choice alrighty and also manatee diver from scuba board same thing because i like that suggestion that was pretty nice i like that suggestion i didn't go with it but i'm gonna give it a second place <laughs> and so so for second place you have to choose the color that you don't like and that's the second play. <laughs> pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah, but how would I know whether it's the exactly, likes yeah. or didn't like? So anyway, you just tell me a color. So you two guys, Scuba Steve and Manatee Diver, I'm gonna need your uh, your addresses. So I'll I'll put my uh, my email address in the in the description here. Send me your address, and I will send you. What's this called again? A tank marker light, a blinking tank marker light that will live for up to 500 hours of time. Right, isn't that a deal? That sounds like a fair deal. Yeah. All right. So thanks, thanks for that, uh, for all the the suggestions. And sorry on the slow uptake. I wanted to do it by Christmas, but I was at the cabin with like a meter and a half of snow, and I was <laughs> maybe more doing a lot of doing a lot of it. But the next the next contest is how do we make this look like Scuba Steve? More like he's Scuba upgrade, Steve. Yeah. yeah, he's very generic right now. All right. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Uh, what do you think? Your first time on the channel, is that right? That was a good debut, for sure, debut, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks All right, well, Yuma, Yuma, thanks for joining. And uh, everybody, again, thanks for those uh, contributions. I really uh, appreciate that. I'll have more of that in the future, definitely a lot more in the future. I will see you on the beach. Catch you later.